I wanted to actually emphasize on some, something. So there's a, here's a couple of ways. So for those of you who are listening, how do you actually add value to people's lives? So here are some of the things that we had talked about. I just mm -hmm. want to bullet them out for you. Something that's going to advance your purpose. So James Altucher does the thing called 10 ideas. He would just send out 10 ideas. Hey, here's solve some 10 ideas that can enhance whatever it is that you're trying to do. Really listen, provide space of pristine listening to really help them just share their ideas because a lot of times they may not have the space to really be human, I'll help them be, do, or have more of what they already do to help them achieve a certain goal that they have to help them save time, save money or make money. That's Brendan's advice. Whenever you help other people make money, they always, their ears perk up, make strategic introduction. They wouldn't have otherwise be able to have, and also share moments of relatability as well. So these are some of the ways that we have talked about ways to add value in people's lives. Anything else you'd like to add, Brandon? You did very well. <laughs> that, that was, that was all good. The making the money, helping them save time introductions. Those are all great ways. I, I do want to share again, the relationship side. And I want it thinking about a significant other. One thing I do for my wife is I do take her on a date every week mm. and I can in home in the house or taking them out to dinner. But I also write personal notes to her. Mm. I'll do this a couple times a week. I'll write a personal note. Sometimes just, I love you. Or it's, Hey, I'm grateful for you and everything we've done. Or sometimes it's more dedicated and I'll put it on the table or put it on the fridge. Mm. And so I'm big on doing personal notes or sending things every once in a while, sometimes a video or something that's just different that lets that person know how much I care. Words of uh, affirmation, or not affirmation, but like saying, hey, I love you or thank you for doing that. Those are all different ways to add value. And that's to my significant other. And listening to, these are ways to really build a really good relationship with somebody you love. And those same things can apply to family members too. But I think that's important. I feel like I'm pretty successful at doing that for my wife and I. Happy wife, happy life. Happy wife, say. happy life. Yeah. And then for those of you listening, five languages of love, tremendous, it's a simplistic model, but to me, it's one of the most beautiful model that I've come across. So really understand what your significant other's love language is tremendously helpful. It can make or break your length, your relationship.